Good afternoon, everybody. Um, it's just right at three o'clock. We still have some people that are still getting into the webinar. So um, we're gonna get started here in just a second. Um, thanks for, so much for taking the time this afternoon to join us. Um, I've got Chris Schlimmer with me. He's our Vice President of Development at Distributor Central. Um, and we're gonna talk about a couple of new tools that Distributor Central has is, is getting ready to release. So as a supplier, if you're in today's webinar, and you need to start working on some of this stuff or you need to work on bullet points or any of the things that we talk about this has not rolled out yet to distributors so you as a supplier are seeing this functionality first and we wanted to give you a background and a premise on why this functionality was added into distributor central um so that's why we've got chris and i here jump in and talk a little bit about it from a sales and marketing perspective and chris is going to talk to, about it from um, a search engine optimization perspective and also a technical aspect um, of the of the new product collections and um, presenting your products for target market. We the chat functionality in the go to webinar tool will allow you to um, send in questions. Um, if you thought if we're walking through anything today and you've got a question about it, please feel free to send in those questions. I'm going to do my best to answer those as we go through this. Um, and if I don't get it answered, I will get it answered. Um, uh, and get you back information on on any of the things that we talk about. Um, Chris, is there anything you want to add before I get started? That sounds good. Okay, so what's going to happen um, in today's session is I'm going to talk a little bit about what where this came from, um, what we're seeing in the market right now, um, and then Chris is going to show you how your customers will be utilizing your product information just slightly differently in the new collections manager and list tool, and then I'm going to bring it back and show you um, some information inside of your supplier account on how you can access and take advantage of this functionality. So um, if you've got questions after today's webinar, I'm sure everybody, most people on today's session um, know me, but my contact information is up. You can always reach out to your sales rep or myself if you've got questions or you wanna sit down and take a deeper look at your own individual supplier product set. Um, so this has been a crazy couple of weeks. Well month and a half, I guess, at this point. But it's been really interesting just what has happened within the market um, and how we're all going to be moving forward um, as, as we're coming out of, of the pandemic. And one of the things that I've had the opportunity to do over the last few weeks is help cover our support phones. And it has been enlightening. Um, and I was really excited that this release was coming when this release came out because it will impact as a supplier how you're able to present your product data in the future um so this all all this timing worked out really well for this to come out we've been working on this for months but the timing worked out really great that um, everybody's kind of thinking a little bit differently about how they're going to continue to sell into 2020. Um, i personally have a belief system that tells me that i'm probably not going to be living in an airplane in 2020 so I'm, we're going to have to do things a little bit differently um, to sell products and as I've been working with distributors over the last few weeks, um, some of the things that I hear from distributors is they know that they need to segment products. They know that they want to build out catalogs and niche websites, but they don't know what products to put in there. And one of the things I always see from my suppliers um, is these amazing presentations and email blasts and marketing tools that suppliers put out there on how to take their products and apply them to the types of customers their distributors are selling to. So this tool allows you to take that methodology of taking your product sets and presenting to the distributor the products that fit well in the real estate market or for their financial customers um, or the work at home ideas. So that's really what this tool um, provides you as a supplier to do. So as we've been dealing with everything that's going on in the market, this is an example of how this product set is going to be used in applications. Um, Distributor Central has seen close to a thousand new websites go up on our platform in the last few weeks. So this has been going on. And the thing that I was hearing the most is I need to get masks. I need to get work at home ideas. I need to get whatever for their to put onto their website this catalogs and distributors just really struggled with being able to quickly get that done so the new product set 
um, and target market tools that we put out allow you as a supplier to help the distributors do that in a much more efficient manner. And what it also allows Distributor Central to do is to be able to create these niche level marketing websites where all the distributor has to do and our website wizard is put their logo on and be able to turnkey a website or a product catalog that they can get out to their customers to help sell your product faster. And that's really what this entire tool has been built around. It's how to segment products for markets, how to communicate that through data, and how to help distributors get to market faster. And so we've been able to see distributors get to market faster by helping them or doing these things at a global level. And now as a supplier, you're going you're to be able to help us do that. Um, so distributors will be able to take these product sets and these product lists and be able to start creating market-specific product information and websites. Chris, I'm going to um, let you, I'm going to go back to you um, and let you take a look at the collections manager at the distributor level um, and show them how they'll be able to do that. You should be able to have it. And again, questions, send them in and I will, I will be responding to those as we go. Hello, everyone. Uh, she's, she's, you should see my screen right now. I'm Chris Schlemmer with uh, Distributor Central and VP of Technology. Um, we're going to take you through um, basically how your customers will interact uh, with your product data from the distributor point of view. So you can kind of see how these um, things that we'll be talking about in this webinar uh, will affect you and how your customers will utilize this. So what you see on the screen right now is our main search interface that a distributor uses to find uh, core, uh, key products inside Distributor Central. Uh, I'm gonna do a, a sample search here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna search for toys. And you'll see in a minute here, you'll, of course you'll get products back with toys. Um, but on the left-hand side, what everyone's been getting used to in the e-commerce world these days are these filterable um, attributes is what we call them. and what you can do here is, of course, you can drag into or drill into any one of these. Um, it's very common these days to see this kind of um, experience on other sites like Best Buy and Amazon and whatnot. And so the reason why I'm pointing this out is this is very key to our new collections manager and the interface around that. Um, our distributors are now able to build out sets of products based specifically on these attributes um, that that go varying about 200 or so attributes that are available right now. So just wanted to kind of show you that. And now we'll go into the collection manager, which this is all new. And so what you see is basically the start of a brand new website. And so this screen here shows um, the customer that 308,000 products are available on this website right now. Um, and typically that's a lot of, web, a lot of products and so what we want to do here is kind of filter that down into a core set of products that you would like to sell. Um, and so the way you do that is we have the, this concept called collections. And the way collections work is simply you add a collection, you name the collection, what you want to uh, name it on your website. So I'm going to do an example here of cups under $2. And then after that, you add a filter and you can do all these different things to filter down your product set into exactly what you wanna sell on your website. All these filters are dynamic and uh, automatically update to the product set that's available in DC. So when new products get added to DC and a distributor has these filters already set up on their website, your products will automatically appear on their website with no work from them, which is extremely powerful and allows uh, distributors' websites to be constantly uh, refreshed and current. So going back to this cups under $2, the way we would do that is we would do a keyword of cups. And that shows you that 7,400 products inside Distributor Central fit that. And then we'll add a price filter of zero to $2. And that filters it down to that criteria for your website. And then all you have to do is publish it and it is immediately available under your website 
for your customers to see. Um, something else to mention is any supplier that's running uh, Distributor Central as their website platform as well, you guys have the same experience. You have the same collection manager for your own products. So you can also build out these collections based on your own product sets. Um, again, if Distributor Central hosts your website. So it's just that easy. Here's your set of products. Um, these are these niche products or product sets that Tiffany was talking about earlier. Um, extremely powerful and extremely easy for distributors to build out sets of products. Um, we can also take you through um, another option that we have under collections called themes. And so I'm going to create a, a, a healthcare collection right now. And I'm going to add a filter. I'm going to use theme for that filter and search for healthcare. And save that. It tells you there's 84 products in the, in the Distributor Central marketplace right now tagged with healthcare. Publish that. And healthcare is now available on your website. So again, really, really quick, really, really powerful to build out sets of products that are very uh, specific to what your customers are trying to sell. Lastly, um, I wanted to show um, the product lists. These are ways of adding specific products to a website. Uh, so say that a distributor sells a very unique product to yours. They can actually search for it within Distributor Central and add those specific products to their website with one click. Just add to website, you name it. Special toys, we put it on Chris Test, and that's it. Their product, that product set is now available on their website for those specific items. So that pretty much sums up the product collection manager. It is very powerful um, and we designed it to be really simple um, and straightforward. It shows exactly what's going on on a website at any one time. Um, and again, going back to it's very dynamic and continues to get updated as new products um, are added to Distributor Central. So I'm gonna hand this back out over to Tiffany now to talk about how we get your products set up with these new attributes um, because attributes are very important uh, for this to work. So I should, um, you guys should be able to see my screen here in just a second. Um, so none of this works for distributors without the right product data from suppliers. And it's really important. Um, and this is an opportunity to think about your products differently than just straight description, title and pricing. Um, the attribute features and the ability to tag products for theme is something that um, is not typically been able to, you've not been able to do before. And it's going to allow you to start thinking about your products and application and helping distributors then search by that application and bring back the products that fit that you, that you're telling us that fit. Um, it also allows for more integrity in your main product descriptions. And before you had to use, you had to put it into the description area and we don't need to do that anymore. So when this rolls out next week, um, you'll start to see these attributes and they're in the ability to, to use them on your product information. This is what your product information looks like now. And this is probably what you're mostly used to seeing. A couple of new tools here at the top is before you had to um, make, take a couple of steps to pull the product off of Distributor Central or off of a distributor's website if it was out of stock or you were discontinuing it um, or whatever. To do that now, all you have to do is make private and that's it. And then you don't have to mess with any other additional um, features. But where you're going to see the attribute information is here in the attributes tab. And when this comes out next week, you'll also get um the ability to do a lot of this work via spreadsheet so our development team is working on an attributes and themes spreadsheet that we will send out to you as a supplier it'll have drop downs so that you can use those the spreadsheet and the drop downs um, to be able to quickly um, tag your product for application in, in theme and industry where you're going to see a lot of this information 
And if your product, and Chris, you might need to help speak to this as well. If there are attributes that we can already identify about your product, we're going to do that. Is We're going to do that in a pre where you get the spreadsheet. Um, but here is where you'll be able to choose for theme. Theme would be um, a, an event type or, or um, a sports event. So this is where you'll be able to choose theme. And then from theme, you'll be able to choose industry. At this moment, we're in our QA version right now. At this moment, you're only seeing the ability to add one theme and one industry. Um, in the spreadsheet, there will be the ability to add a several, a couple of, of several um, industries and themes. But this is how you'll be able to control um, that information on your product data for distributors to be able to more easily use. Another thing that is going to be very, very important, and if you're a supplier in today's session and you're not taking the time to do this now, is choices and options. Choices and options is what is going to control the color selection in your attribute, as well as, um, oh, Chris, help me, um, color and any, any other special or decoration method. Um, that is what's going to control those attributes in both the filter and also in the distributor's ability to collect products based on those attributes. Yeah, we, we're, we're going to try to make this extremely easy. Uh, we're going to create a dedicated spreadsheet for these attributes like Tiffany mentioned. Um, we'll see that next week. Um, we are, we're hoping to um, get this out in as easy as possible. Um, you'll see there's a lot of attributes to describe your product. Um, many don't fit a certain product. Um, it just depends on, you know, the type of product. So apparel products have certain, you know, attributes that, that say a paper product does not. Um, so we'll organize it that way in the spreadsheet as well. So uh, once you get the spreadsheet, it'll make more sense. Um, but these are all very important um, items. For example, is on sale. That's something brand new for us to identify really simply your products on sale. Um, it'll appear on sale. People can filter for on sale products um, and that kind of thing. Um, other ways that the collection manager will be used by distributors is when, when we put together this um, website for, for distributors as a template, we put this out a couple of weeks ago. And we've already seen uh, 300 of these websites go up here in the last couple of weeks. Um, but when we did that, we curated the product set. And this is basically what you're doing. You're, you're giving yourself the ability to curate a product set and make the product, um, make the product more usable on a distributor's website. So we are seeing more and more of these niche websites, and we're seeing more distributors in need of these types of niche websites. Um, and you're going to see more of these coming out of Distributor Central. Um, as templates so the distributors can very quickly and easily start pulling together product information to tar targeting markets. Um, a couple of just so that everybody knows, a couple of templates that will be coming out for distributors is um, things centered around school spirit and sports. I believe sports will come out um, in the fall, so we're pre-prepping for the things that you might start seeing in the fall. And then the next one would be um, election season. So as you're thinking about your products, start thinking about how they could be used and how we could be able to easily collect those products as we're building these websites market these niche websites for distributors to be able to quickly utilize. Um, another feature on Distributor Central, if you're a supplier in the session today and you don't have a website on Distributor Central, our website platform is outstanding. It's already available to you. This collection manager makes building segmented products and um, themed ideas much easier um, than I've seen on any other web platform out there in the industry. So if you're looking at website platforms. Um, we already host several just supplier websites and that tool, not only is it available to your customers, but it's also available to you as a supplier. One of the things that I want suppliers to really understand is everything that we do for distributors, so these niche market websites, um, the ability to create product segments, hosting websites, we do for you for free for your customers. So if you are looking at how this could be utilized in application within your company, we're starting to see, or we, we've been doing this for a while, we're, just, we're seeing suppliers working with us to build 
website microsites that are centered around their product sets. And we're creating these as templates for their customers. So that if I were really a distributor and I needed to get a website out really quickly centered around a completely specific or targeted product set, I can work with my supplier to do that. And there's not any charge for Distributor Central to help you help your customers do these things. Everything that we do for your customers, we do at no cost for them. Um, also, one of the things that um, we're going to put back out there, and I don't know if, if you're a supplier that's been on here before or has we've talked to you before, um, but Distributor Central does have a online design tool that um, we can help your customers utilize. So when we worked with this particular supplier to put together their top selling product on this site that they're now able to send out to their customers and we were we took their top selling products and set up the logo tool so that when their customers are using this site if they're using this information as a way to um, create a company store or target a market that's where we've not created a template on it for, um, they can use the design tool to upload that logo and apply it to all of the products on those company store sites. Sometimes in a go to meeting, it slows down just a little bit. So we'll give that a second. So once your customer's done that, It'll apply that logo to the rest of the products on these microsites that we're creating for suppliers. And if this is something that you're interested in taking a closer look at, please reach out to your sales rep. But one of, when we do that and when we created this microsite in this, for this particular, for the healthcare market, we were able to, distributors were able to take those segmented products and then if they were already had a website or they didn't want to use that template because they've already got search engine optimization on their own websites, they were able to take those curated product sets and apply them to an existing website without any additional work. So these are the things that will now be available to you and your customers just by getting the right product information and tagging your product for the market that they fit well within so that distributors can can quickly go to those markets and pull back products that you know will fit within those customers that they have. Um, there are a lot of questions in here, so I'm gonna go through a few of them. Is there, this is that microsites that's only available to those suppliers that are using DC's platform. Every supplier that's in today's session should be on Distributor Central. I'm, I'm making an assumption here. So if your products are already on Distributor Central, this technology works. Um, there are questions, let me, because I'm gonna have to bring you in on some of these questions. Um, if there are products on sale, Chris, are there a way that they'll be able to see the adjusted price and the regular price? I don't know that we've talked about that before. I don't believe we talked about that either, but it makes sense. So I will take that as a note. Okay. Um, do we have the ability to make um, options or choices private if the product has variations? I don't know if I understand that question. Um, uh, I, this, the supplier that just asked that question, I will reach, I, let me take a look at that and me ask, I might need to ask you some additional questions um, before I answer that. But we will be able to, there's a lot of questions in here about being able to do this in bulk. Absolutely, that spreadsheet that we're going to be putting together and sending out to suppliers, um, you'll be able to, um, it'll have your product information, item numbers, and you'll be able to tag your product there for industry and theme. And that's really the one today outside of choices and options, which are always mission critical. So if you're not doing that, please do it. But outside of choices and options will be the ones that are the most pertinent for distributors to be able to quickly use and start as they're starting to build product sets for their websites. Um, what other questions? 
again, in that, quite, that chat functionality will allow you to, to send in any questions that you might have. Um, Chris, do we at all want to talk about this at the supplier level and showing them how to create product sets at their level if they're using DC's supplier um, website solution? We can. I can you just give me one second here and I'll get, the, get that, that back over. Um, there was a really good question about so microsites. If you're a supplier and you're not using our website platform, that does not mean that that microsite solution is not a good fit for you. Um, your product information, we believe it's our, our responsibility to get your product information wherever you need it to go. So if there's ideas that you have that you want to talk to us about and how to use those types of sites, please let us know and we would um, absolutely talk with you about those. But you're not, you're not limited to, um, you're not limited by whether or not you're hosting the website on Distributor Central. Um, there are tools inside of the product information where if you have pricing that is um, only available for a certain segment of time, you can pre you can just you can tell your product the dates in which that pricing should be available. And then when that date expires, you can revert it back to your standard catalog pricing. The way that the list are managed at the supplier level is very similar to how it's managed and how we'll be teaching your distributors to do this at their level. Um, but we'll just we'll show it we'll show it to you from from a supplier's perspective as well. Right. So basically, the the the, the collection manager works very similar to what you saw as a distributor. Um, the difference, of course, is the collection manager as a supplier's website is focused specifically on your products and your products only. So you're able to really drill into creating very detailed collections or sets of products that are specific for your company. And so what you're seeing on the screen right now is what we call our product list manager. Um, and this is under products, advanced features, product list manager. This is a new feature um, that you'll see released next week. Um, and as a supplier running a product or, or running a website on Distributor Central, this is where you'll manage your specific sets of products. So, for example, there's a couple products in here that are specific to, you know, this one supplier um, or this one product. But basically, it's just products, actual products out of your product line. Um, and so what that allows you to do is display those products on your website. Um, as special collections or links, that is a very, very good thing for SEO um, and Google to index and find products on your website. Having unique small sets of products is the way to go these days for websites. Um, it's a lot, it's not as great to have a set of, you know, call it 10,000 products in your website and not have them organized. Uh, Google really expects website owners these days to organize products. And so that's one way of thinking about product lists or product collections is there's just a nice set of manageable products um, that not only your customers can find, but you also have to really keep in mind that that's what Google's using to, to find these products. And so with that said, um, I can take you back into the website uh, product collection manager. And we can kind of go through that. All right, so what you're seeing here is basically a website that's already set up uh, with a bunch of different product lists, which you just saw, um, configured on their site. And so what that means is they are able to create nice small groups of products that are specific around a certain uh, product's line. Now, these are product lists, and product lists are specific products. So one by one, you add products into that. So you're very, you know, it's very customizable. You can also do, um, just like we showed from a distributor level, filters. So um, rather than maintaining specific lists of products, you can do the same thing as before. You can create themes. You can create certain materials. 
of certain industries. Um, I mean, everything that all our filters that are offering um, filters or our, our uh, collections that offer filters um, are available. Categories are also very helpful, especially from a supplier. Um, if you're using categories within DC, um, you can really create nice sets of products um, that are specific around that category. I think it's probably also important to say or like mention that if you're a supplier that's already created the website on Distributor Central, we've migrated this over, correct, Chris? That is correct. For the catalog section, yeah. Yes, so 100% of everything that a distributor and supplier has done on Distributor Central over the last 25 years, that has been converted. So there's always a conversion path for that. Nothing will be lost, nothing will change. Um, this is just a, the ability to get everyone started um, with everything they've already done, and then they can continue from that, on, that, that point forward. So what you're seeing on your screen right now is actually a converted website. So these were based on something they've already done using our old catalogs, um, and catalogs have been replaced with collections. And so it's important, so when you're building, if you were used to building catalogs, it was a little clunky where you had to build the catalog and then apply it to the website. Everything at both the supplier level and the distributor level is now managed in the website. So all of the, as soon as a list is created and a collection is created, it's automatically applied to the website platform. It's much quicker, much more flexible, and a, and a lot more robust. And it will provide distributors a lot more ways to be able to search for product information. Some general features that this also uh, opened us up to was search will be a lot faster on websites um, and more accurate as well. So if someone's just searching for basic keywords on your website or a distributor's website, they will be much more likely to find product and much more product uh, just on what we've done in the back end to make this work as well. So there's some hidden features that we're also getting um, along with this collection manager that'll really help every customer um, a lot more on their website platform. Um, and from the distributor's perspective, um, for having a faster website and being able for their customers to find products faster is going to help them from, from a website optimization standpoint. Um, are there any other questions that we can answer about the collection manager? So the biggest takeaways for next week would be utilizing a spreadsheet to start designating your product for application and how they could be used. And it would ju it's just as simple as working with your marketing department or as you're thinking about products or even as you're just putting together email blasts. Um, as you're, when you put those together, you're typically thinking about how the how this product could be applied um, to a customer's to an end user customer. It's the same method or same same level of thinking. It's just taking those products and instead of it just being flat product information with pricing and description and images, it's how can this product actually be used by the customer and tagging the product for those. Any other questions that we can answer or anything that you need more clarification on? Okay. Well, um, I appreciate everyone's time today. We're really excited. Distributors are very excited about this functionality. Distributors are very excited about having niche websites that they can easily create and product segments for niches that they can easily take and apply to existing websites. Um, it's gonna make that process so much faster um, and give you more flexibility. If there's any other questions that you've got that we can answer, feel free to reach out to your sales rep. Here's my contact information, um, and we'll make sure to get those answered. That was it. That's all we had for today. Thanks so much. Um, I'll leave the chat open just a little bit longer if anybody wants to send in any questions.